Hey YouTube, Adam here. Uh, today we're going to be working on resurrecting, this is my father's computer. Uh, it's actually about, I think, six years old. It's a Lenovo H405, I'm looking at the specs right here. Uh, it has an Athlon 2 X4 645 at 3.1 gigahertz, 6 gigabytes of RAM, and it came with a 1 terabyte hard drive. There's actually a second hard drive in here that's being used as the boot drive, which is like a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Um, the problem that this machine is having is that the uh, boot drive has some pending sectors on it, two of them. Uh, it's running really slowly. Uh, the hard drive just kind of crunches away all the time because I'm sure it's doing all kinds of uh, check some error correcting and stuff. So we are going to see if we can breathe some new life into this machine, even though it is old. Um, my father only really watches YouTube and Netflix and that sort of stuff on it. Uh, so we're going to see if we can clone the... Uh, boot partition and save having to reinstall windows and all that stuff onto this uh, crucial SSD. This is a, I believe, 200, yeah, 275 gigabyte SSD. Uh, it's not the fastest SSD in the world, but I've never used crucial and uh, it was cheap. It was like 70 bucks and uh, it should be fine for this old of a machine. I wouldn't think that we need much more than that. So. Uh, it should be a noticeable improvement over a mechanical hard drive, even in a machine this old. One of the best things you can do with old machines is to put SSDs in them. So, uh, it looks like it actually comes with a Cronus True Image HD software activation. Um, I might use that. I'm probably going to just use, uh, I have a Clonezilla Live CD that I'll probably just end up using. So there's the SSD itself. Uh, it is a metal case. It seems like it's of good build quality. It feels a lot like a Samsung SSD. Those are the ones that I usually use for my own machines. But uh, it seems like it is of reasonable quality. It comes with some sort of, I guess it's probably a shim to make it a little bit thicker if you're putting in a laptop or something that might have a specific size uh, drive that you need. I have, uh, this is Clonezilla on here. And I have this little dongle. This is a SATA to USB. I think it's only USB 2. Uh, but it's not going to be the fastest. But again, this machine's not the fastest. Uh, I'd rather not hook it directly up to the SATA bus because I have to dig around in there. And it's really dirty and nasty in there. Uh, I will vacuum it out before I give it back to them. But the less poking around in this machine I have to do, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot this into Windows. Make sure everything is set with the partition. I don't want to run any Windows longer than I need to because it's not exactly in a super happy place in terms of functionality, but it ought to work well enough. Let's get our monitor slid over here. Um, this isn't going to be a fair test to see how much faster it is with the SSD because the uh, drive just crunched. I don't know if you can hear that, but the hard drive is really crunching away, making some nasty sounds. and. Uh, it, it, it seems to be able to boot reliably, relatively reliably in the Windows, um, but it's not happy. And the drive just sits there churning all the time. Um, the transfer rates are real slow on it, and uh, I ran uh, Crystal Mark on it, and uh, it had, I believe it was two pending sectors, and you know, it was in the caution. So it's time to get this thing swapped out. Um, this machine originally came with Windows 7, it's running Windows 10. Like I said, it has 6 gigabytes of memory. I'm not super familiar with um, AMD processors, so I'm not really sure what the Intel equivalent of this CPU would be. But it is a 4-core processor. Um, it's probably like an i5 from 2011 or something. I don't know. This machine's from 2010, so I don't know, like a, a Core 2 quad, maybe? I don't know. Um... Like I said, he does pretty lightweight stuff. It's not like he's rendering videos or something. He does use Photoshop from time to time. Uh, but that's not too much to ask of this machine, I think. My monitor's all flickery at the top. That's weird. Hopefully the backlight's not going out. This is just one of my old shop monitors. It has a stuck pixel on it and all that stuff. I don't think he has a password on this, so it should just boot in. And like I said, this is not really indicative of its usual performance. Uh, because it is in super crappy mode. So I'm going to uh, just verify that I have everything set up. There's nothing critical on this drive, so if something, if it does die, 
all it really means is that I need to reinstall Windows, which I believe with the way Windows 10 works now, uh, I shouldn't even need a product code, but I've never had to do that yet, and I don't know how the product code stuff works, so um, it looks like he has a few things here. I don't know what true key is. Might want to clean some of this stuff up. Uh, does it say? See, like, it's, there it goes. Took a while to even find the path. So it's some sort of Intel security thing. There's probably, he's he's pretty good about not getting a bunch of um, random toolbars and stuff like that, even though he is older. My dad's savvy enough not to do that. So uh, I'm just going to verify that I do indeed have all the stuff I need uh, backed up, just in case. This machine does have a one terabyte hard drive, like I said, as a secondary hard drive. That's where he stores all of his music and photos, that sort of stuff, personal documents. Um, and then it's also backed up to an external hard drive. So, in theory, nothing could go wrong really here anyway. Man alive, I just, that takes a minute. Um, eh, I'm trying, I just want to bring, oh, there's no Windows key on this side. This is the Lenovo keyboard, and uh, there's no Windows key there. It's a function key, like a laptop or something. That's annoying. I can't even get the, I, I want to. Windows X, uh, Windows X. I want to get the disk manager up. Dear God in heaven. All right, well I'm gonna wait for this to settle down, just verify everything, and then we'll be rebooting into. Uh, there it goes. My goodness, that took a minute. And then we'll be uh, rebooting into um, Clonezilla. Be right back. All right, so we're gonna actually try something different before we use Clonezilla. I have this, uh, I was looking at the drive size and it's 160 gigabyte hard drive that's failing. I have this 128 gigabyte Samsung uh, SSD. It's a Evo 830 or whatever. I don't, it's a Pro 830. Um, so I was reading online about a program called IOMI Backup or Full, or Backup or Standard is the actual name of it. That's just the name of the file. And uh, apparently, unlike Clonezilla, it will more easily let me clone to a smaller drive. So I want to see if I can get this to function first. I've never used this program, I don't think. I think I used a Cronus last time I did something like this. Um, this did come with a key for downloading a Cronus, but I figure why not try this out since this is supposedly a free program and all that stuff. This I don't know if you can hear that drive. But it's just been, I, this machine's been on for a little while. It's just been chugging, chugging away. And while that is doing that, let's go ahead and get the disk management up here. Finish. And which one of these? Is my SSD probably that one? Okay. Just wanted to make sure that was actually registering. Yeah, we'll run it. Why not? I got nothing to lose here. All right. So what do we want to do? Clone. Uh, do that. What? Are you kidding me? Well, let's do it this way. Fine. You want to be stupid? You can be stupid. So this is the source disk. And destination disk. work. Align, optimize. Will this allow it to go to a smaller disk? We shall see. I guess it's starting to copy the data. So I'm going to let it... That seems like awfully fast. It seems awfully fast. I suppose it'll probably bog down when it actually gets to other partitions. Yeah, it's copying volume C now, I think. So 
we'll see what happens. It looks like it is allocating our partitions down there. And uh, be back when this is done. All right, I, I'm sure this is due to a combination of things, probably the dying disk and the uh, fact that the SSD is plugged in over USB, but it is only going at about 15 megabytes uh, per second, which means it's going to take about an hour to copy this data over. So I'm going to just allow it to do its thing and we'll be back whenever it's done. Go make myself a burrito. All right, so the disk cloning is done. It took quite a while. It looks like the partitions are a little bit funky. Not sure if it doesn't say anything about it being a boot partition, but I suppose I don't think it copied the. It's gonna be annoying. I don't think it actually copied the boot records and stuff, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and just shut her down, and I'll swap the unplug the main drive and swap it over. All right, so we have the SSD just kind of chilling there. Let's see if we can uh, get into the BIOS here. I don't know if it's delete. I guess it wanted me to go into setup anyway. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Devices. All right, there's our Samsung hard drive. Where is startup? Primary boot sequence, Samsung SSD. Actually, yeah, because SanDisk isn't usually going to be plugged in. All right. It's really hard to read which one you have selected because it's white on white text. Just remove the thumb drive here. Wow, that got really loud. The fans went crazy. Windows 10 looks like it's booting. So the drive clone, at least right now, appears to have worked. Let's see what if it actually uh, makes it into Windows here. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, it's a vast improvement. So the machine actually works correctly now. Uh, actually, disk manager. Oh, that's so nice. It's actually a functional computer again. So this ought to be quite a bit better. This, I, as I didn't really go over the specs. It has a, a discrete video card because uh, he drives a, a big TV off of this and it was easy. You get more settings about overscan and stuff using the NVIDIA. Um, I didn't want a device manager though, I wanted disk management. Check out our partitions here. System reserve, so I have some unallocated space, so I'm going to fix these partitions up a little bit. It has the boot on C. Um, I don't need to have that have a drive letter. So everything looks like it's good to go here. I'm going to do some minor cleanup on the machine, make sure there's nothing installed that doesn't need to be. But as you can see, uh, an SSD really does make a difference. Like uh, it's, it's quite a bit better. It's a functional computer again. And it's not a fair comparison because obviously there was a failing drive. But this machine will work for probably a few more years at least of good service like this with the kind of uh, use case that it's actually going to have. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup here. We'll get figure out how to mount this SSD. I don't know if there are SSD mounting points. doesn't quite look like it. So I have to figure that out. So there really is no appropriate mount for an SSD that I can see here. It does have some holes here, but they don't line up with anything. Uh, it's an it's just an SSD, so I'm going to just run a screw in here, one screw, and that should be more than good enough. It's reasonably secure, so I think we'll call that good. Everything is good to go. I'm going to take this machine outside and hit it with... I have a electric leaf blower that I use to clean up computers when I'm doing this sort of stuff, because... Uh, they're pretty nasty and I'd rather clean it out outside. But uh, as you can see, 
everything's pretty much good to go with this machine now. Alright, so I'm just going to handle doing Windows updates now. As you can see, uh, the SSD breathed new life into this computer. I really liked using the Xiaomi uh, back upper standard. I think I'm going to use that again in the future. Uh, it did a, a very nice job actually. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. That took a long time just because of the nature of the crappy failing hard drive. Uh, I do have a D-band machine that I use to safely erase data on old hard drives, but since this one's broken, I'll probably just take it out to the uh, forest where I go shooting and give it a couple of rounds from the old uh, PESL 7.62 by 54R. Uh, those will go right through the plates and the platters, rather, and nobody will be reading anything off of it ever again at that point, I suppose. So. Anyway, uh, if you have an old machine and you're trying to clone a drive uh, from a larger capacity hard drive to a smaller capacity SSD, I highly recommend the Aomi Backupper. Uh, there'll be a link in the video description to where I downloaded it from. It worked really well. I can't complain at all. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you next time.